to my channel, Hell Flare. So today I'm gonna to be talking about a documentary was recently released on Netflix and it's called What the Health. I'm only gonna be discussing seven points. Um, so let's begin. So the next point I wanna make is point six. Basically it said fish is no better. So what do you mean fish is no better? Everyone says that fish is great for you. Well, you know, everyone's always saying fish is good because it's full of omega-3s and you have to eat fish. It's good for your body, it's good for your joints, it's good for all this stuff. And to be honest, the amount of omega-3 in fish is not even that high. It's higher in green and dark green veggies. So if you are really obsessed with getting your doses of omega-3s, the best thing you can do is eat a lot of greens and not necessarily eat fish. Also on top of that, there are a lot of other issues with fish. They're really high in mercury, which is not good. They're really high in PCBs, which are basically chemicals that are picked up by the fish. Um, another thing that's a problem with fish is that a lot, some fish, not all fish, some fish have really high omega-6. And omega-6 causes inflammation. This means that if you have some kind of disease that is based on inflammatory responses, eating this kind of fish can adversely affect you and your disease and it might cause a flare. So you guys need to be careful with what you're eating. But to be completely honest, if you're eating fish once a week or maybe once every four days, I really don't think it's gonna be a problem. I mean, it, it's in my opinion, everything in moderation is healthy, everything in excess is bad. Um, so point number seven, and I think that this point is kind of important because we are in a culture that has basically given us so much advertisement on milk and how milk is so good for you and it prevents bone disease and it does this and it's so good for your calcium and your vitamin D and good for your bones and it prevents fractures, you need to drink milk. But the documentary said that we need milk, cow milk, as much as we need camel milk or milk from any other animal in the world. Uh, the documentary also mentioned that babies are the ones that need milk and then they stop needing milk. So why are we still drinking it? The critics said nothing about this topic, but I thought it was a really good segue to kind of bring milk into the discussion. Um, I think that milk is definitely something that's over-promoted in the country. I don't think milk is bad for you if you don't drink it in excess. And I know that I sound so repetitive. Don't do this in excess, don't do that in excess. But it's true, everything too much is not good. Um, so milk, is it good for you? Is it bad for you? Well, as a doctor, I love the minerals, calcium, and the vitamin D. Everything that's in the milk is extremely important to have. Whether or not you have to get it from milk, not necessarily. You can get those things from a bunch of other types of foods. So if you don't like milk, you don't have to feel forced to drink milk. There are alternatives, and that's what you guys need to know. So what about studies? What do the studies say? Well, they have definitely done a lot of studies. A lot of studies show that diets high in milk uh, have prevented osteoporosis, which means bone loss. Um, then again, another research shows that in countries that are really high in milk consumption, like in Finland and Sweden, they actually have higher rates of osteoporosis. Uh, there have been studies that show that too much milk um, can increase your risk of hip fractures. Uh, these are very debilitating things. So. It's, it's very, um, I think it's a bit controversial still. And I think people don't know enough about it to make a decision. Do I drink milk? Yeah, I do, I like milk. I mean, I was raised drinking milk and in my Colombian culture, we drink milk and we eat cheese and we have all these yogurts and desserts based off of milk. Uh, so it's a huge part of my culture, but am I going to tell me my people in my family, hey, stop drinking milk because it's going to give you osteoporosis or you're going to fracture your hip? No, <laughs> I'm not going to tell them that. Um, but, you know, you can't just drink five glasses of milk a day. I feel like that's a little bit too much, you know, everything in moderation. Um, so why is this so important? This video impacted me personally because it actually sparked me to become vegan for two weeks. So uh, I've done a two week trial of being on a vegan diet. By the time this video is posted, the day it's posted, it's actually my two week anniversary on the, on the vegan diet. And I do have to tell you that I do suffer from a lot of lower back pain and some neck pain. I did have a small accident while in medical school and I ignored it, but ever since then I've been having trouble with my back and my neck. Um, so when I started the, my research, I found that 
People who have chronic pain conditions, sometimes when they go on a vegan diet, within two weeks they start seeing remarkable results. Their pain goes down. If they're taking medications for pain, they start noticing that they're taking less. Uh, so I thought that this was really important. Another thing was that there are so many studies that show uh, that being on a vegan diet, especially for diabetics, uh, some patients actually find that they can decrease their medications or stop taking them all together. Uh, I don't know about you guys who don't have diabetes. I don't know if you know the, how burdensome it is to have to take all these medications, especially because people who have diabetes oftentimes suffer from high blood pressure, they have kidney issues, they have eye problems. And studies have definitely shown that a lot of these conditions can be reversed just by going on a vegan diet. So for you guys who are diabetic or you have any other diseases like um, osteoarthritis, if you have chronic migraines, fibromyalgia, which is a huge painful disease associated with all of these psychological symptoms and it affects a lot, it's affecting more people than we think. I think that if you're able to somehow change the way you eat and you never have to take pain medication and you never have to take your diabetic medications or your blood pressure medications, why wouldn't you give it a try? Why wouldn't you be open to the idea that what you're eating is what's making you sick? I started this as a two week trial of being on a vegan diet. I decided to extend it to longer, um, not make it a permanent thing, but definitely stop eating as many uh, meats and chickens and fish, um, decrease my amount of animal protein, as, as you put it. Uh, I won't eat as much cheese as I, w as I would normally eat because I do realize now that a lot of these foods, I'm gonna pay the price when I'm much, much older. Right now, I'm not gonna pay for, the, for that. But when I'm older, when I'm 60 and 70 and 80, what I'm doing today to my body is gonna kick my butt in those years. So I'd rather kind of like help protect my age and my aging and my, my old age, basically, by kind of changing the way I eat now. And I have to admit that even though I changed it two weeks ago, I feel great. Uh, so for those of you who are kind of like on the edge of, oh, I don't know if I should do it, um, I'm into animal rights and that's why I want to do it, perfect, that's a great excuse to do it. And it's not even an excuse, it's a really valuable reason to do it. Um, with all those things that are happening with animal rights and the, the torture of the animals and how they're suffering because you want to get these meats out to the public, I think that whoever decides to go on these diets because of that is very, very respectable and I commend you for that. Uh, for those of you who have any chronic conditions that you want to see how your body will react, I definitely recommend you try it. See how your body feels. It's definitely not easy to make the switch. Uh, for me, it wasn't as difficult as I thought because I normally already eat a lot of fruits, I already eat a lot of veggies, I eat a lot of grains. The only thing was that I had to replace a lot of my meats and, and, and beefs and all that stuff. Um, with vegan products and with beans and with hummus. I love hummus. It was great. Um, so for those of you who have questions on how I did it, um, you can definitely go to my blog. I haven't posted the, my daily updates yet, but I will. Uh, you can also ask me questions on what I ate, ask me questions on recipes. Uh, you can even send me some if you would like. Uh, I'm open to everything. I still haven't told you if I still have pain or not. And I have to tell you that Whenever I do feel the pain, I notice it now because at a baseline, my pain used to be maybe around a seven. Like it was all the time I had pain. I had to do all these stretches to make the pain go away. And yoga helped a lot with that too. Uh, but since I've been on this, I think that the pain has gone down to a four or a five. And only sometimes I get some back pain and I do my stretches and it actually improves a lot quicker. Uh, so for those of you who are wondering what can this possible diet do for me, it can do wonders for you. And you should definitely consider being a little more open to the idea that something so simple as changing the way you eat can improve your life. So that's it for today. Um, I hope you guys learned a lot. I hope I made you guys ask questions. I hope I made you doubt. I hope I made you doubt what I'm saying. I hope you go and watch the documentary. I hope you guys start asking questions to your own physicians. I want to make you question everything you've ever been told. And I want you to ask people questions. Uh, take control of your life. Ask the questions that you need to ask so that you can make the necessary changes in your own life 
to benefit you. If you guys have questions, if you have comments, please put them down below. I'll also put the link and my, my Instagram account. Everything is down there. Stalk me on all kind of social media. I love interacting with you guys. I put tons of stories, so if you guys wanna know what I do in my daily life, that's a great way for you to find out. If you guys have any concerns, please let me know. Don't forget to subscribe. If the button's right there, don't forget. And I will see you guys next week. Bye.